Hey everyone, it's Peter here with uh, PhysicalTherapyTV.com. Today we're going to talk about a prolapsed disc. Now, what is a prolapsed disc? Well, it's also referred to as a herniated or bulging discs. Uh, herniated discs uh, are caused by aging and degeneration of your disc, also known as disc disease or an injury to the spine. Now, disc disease may result from tiny tears or cracks in the outer uh, capsule of your disc called the annulus. Uh, the jelly-like material inside the disc called your nucleus may be forced out through the tears or cracks on the capsule. So this can cause a disc bulge or a prolapsed disc. Uh, this is an image, an MRI image of a prolapsed disc or a disc bulge. You can see here uh, the image shows a healthy disc and the image below how uneven the outer line of the disc is and how it's protruding back towards the nerve root which can lead to extreme pain uh, pain down your leg even a loss of function of strength in your lower legs so it is a serious condition um, and can require surgery but the good news is that in more than 90 percent of patients uh, a bulging or herniated disc will heal by itself not requiring any surgery and typically an MRI is required uh, to uh, to confirm this um, exercises that you can do for prolapsed or bulging or herniated discs are, are very valuable uh, it's important to maintain good spinal health by performing flexibility exercises, exercises such as a hamstring stretch, uh, stretching out the buttock muscles, stretching out your hip and your calf muscles are very, very beneficial. Also, working on your stability strength, uh, core exercises is a term you might have heard. Uh, very important to, uh, to work on those abdominal and low back muscles. Uh, plank and side plank exercises are advanced core exercises and you can check with a physical therapist or a knowledgeable uh, personal trainer uh, how to progress with these kind of exercises. Thank you so much for watching and we'll speak to you soon.